Okay, Nikki Northcott, you are a young gun. You've been the young gun, and you are in the undercard. How does it feel to get here and have a chance to rope against the big dogs that you do already rope against in the open? It feels great, but, you know, I still, it just doesn't really matter how young I am. I still got to beat them. They rope so good, and there's really no mercy there. Right, there is no age limit or minimum on the open, so you've been roping in the opens for how long? Uh, probably a year now. I started out and then just kind of had to because I couldn't rope in the numbered opens anymore. Right. So how do you go into a competition like today with today's setup where if you win the first four, you advance, but it could go either way and you could win at the end? I just try to not really think about it and just heal my steers mostly because you start thinking about the times, you start messing up. So if you just try to catch two feet, it generally works better. Just go with it and let the cards fall. Yeah. All right. Good luck today. Thank you. I should stand on the fence. <laughs> okay, Wyatt Bray, you are in the undercard match today, and your partner is Josh Patton, and you guys have been roping together for a little while now. What's your game plan going into this? Well, you got to see when you're up first. So if Jackson goes first, uh, just try to match whatever he does, be a little bit faster. If they're long, I can go catch. If they're short, i got to press on it. But if I'm first, I'm just going to try to knock him down for what he is and just get a time on the board. Just it's the first four to win, correct? Yeah, first four to win. Four one-headers, or seven one-headers. So what's your advice to Jackson right now? I uh, hope he does great today, but just a little bit slower than me. <laughs> there you go. Good luck today, Wyatt. Thank you. <laughs> Jackson Tucker, you are in the undercard match today against Wyatt and Josh. Who's your partner today? Nikki Northcott. Nikki Northcott. And how old is Nikki Northcott? He's 16. And he heals like a? Like a grown man. <laughs> yeah, like a number 16. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that's him. Yeah. So what is your game plan today? Uh, just do a good job for him. I'm going to ride one of my better horses today and try to do the best I can for him. My, my main partner, Wyatt's not here today, but Nikki's my second partner, so just try to make her run. So there's a lot of confidence there. So talk to us about a horse that you pick to ride in this situation. Well, uh, I'm going to ride my good yellow habanero. I've been rodeoing on him and riding him everywhere. And uh, I haven't rode him actually since Houston, so I need to make some runs on him and figure out how to do it today. So the score is three under. Does that determine what horse you ride, or you're good either way? No, I'm good either way, really. Just I try to score good and do a good job. Great. Well, awesome. Good luck today. Thank you. Well, it's Monday Night Match, X-Factor Rope In, and here we go with the undercard match. It's going to be Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott versus Wyatt Bray, Josh Patton, and Cash Duty Sid Sporer going to be teamed up versus Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. The winner of that, each match will go on and uh, rope for a winner take all. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott, here are your Texas High School Region 10 champions. Jackson Tucker to the head side. Nikki Northcott. Actually, Nikki Northcott is the Region 10 champ on the back side. And he's got him healed right here with a smooth run of 629. Did that with Cole Smith. So they started off just right. Here comes Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys got to be a 628 or better right here. Get their victory. Nikki Northcott with a nice heel shot right there as we get another look at that. It's Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton now to team it up and get things going. 628 or better for these guys. Jump into this round one win. Wyatt Bray, good nod, we're rolling. Broke the barrier and that's not gonna work out in their best interest as we get this one healed in a hurry right here, but a plus five, and they are gonna be 21 and 82, and so Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott, Wyatt Bray right there got the barrier just a tick, gets him caught, and uh, JP now on the backside, comes around and just puts it out there and got that outside leg. They're the plus five, and five more.
Josh Patton, we're going off a little bad luck on this first run. How does that change your plan for the rest of these steers? Uh, the pressure's off now. I mean, like right then, my horse is pretty green. I just wanted to kind of get around there. He's a little cowy and just part of team roping. It'll get better. Yep, it is. So what is this horse you're riding today? Uh, he's an eight-year-old horse I got from True Lucina. A lot of buttons and nice horse, just got a fat leg. Yep. All right, well, there you go. Good luck on the next ones. Cash Duty and Sid Spore. They're going to be matching Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. All right, Cash Duty. Got him point one seven five off the barrier. Got him caught. Sid Spore comes around, heals him. Hey, smooth right here with the 739. 739. We'll get another look at that right there. It's Cash Duty right here on the head side. Got him a start. Cash tracks him a little further than normal. Reaches out there and gets him roped around the neck. And uh, comes around. Watch Sid Spore right here. Nice, nice heel shot. As he gets him caught by two feet. And right there with the 739, they're in good position. All right, it's Hagen Peterson. He's on the head side. Caleb Hendricks to the back side. These guys looking to be better than a 739. Got him a good clean start. Hagen with his part. Now watch this. Oh, man. Smooth run. Uh-oh, it's not smooth. It's plus five. They're going to be 11 and 46. And that is going to give Cash and Sid the advancement there. All right, well, look at this. Hagen gets out point zero zero nine. Steer rolling right through there. He's got him caught right around the horns. And then Caleb Hendricks right here puts his rope down, and he's got him, but got him by that inside leg. Puts him at 11.46. And so it is going to be Cash Duty and Sid Spore with round one win, and Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with a round one win. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys had all kinds of problems in round one. So a little redemption is what they're after right here in round number two. Wyatt Bray, cool, calm, and collected right here. On the head side, Josh Patton, veteran of the game of the back side. Wyatt with an odd, and we're rolling right here. Clean start, point one seven two off the barrier, and a misfire completely right here as it is not going to work for Wyatt and Josh. Oh, man. We'll get another look at it right here. Wyatt got out of the barrier just right, stands up and gives it to that steer, but it just goes right over that right horn and does not connect. So Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with an opportunity to be 2-0 after two. Okay, Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott. These guys got that round one win. See what they can do right here. All right, Jackson, good safe start. One four eight comes down there and heads that steer. Nikki Northcott comes around and he's got him healed right here. Locks it down nine twenty nine, and so. It is going to be two to zero after two with with Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott to the favor. Jackson Tucker does a nice job getting him turned, and Nikki comes in and heals him down. Smooth run, and they're nine, and they are nine twenty nine for the win. Okay, Wyatt, it was kind of a rough start. We had a broken barrier, we had an air ball, and this is fast paced. How do you get back in the right state of mind to run steers this quick? Well, you just have to go back to the process and back to what your foundation is. Big swing, cover the horns, rope what you draw. If you do that and they beat you, that's fine. 
but most nine times out of ten, if you do your job the way you're supposed to do it, you're going to win. So tell us a little bit about the horse that you're riding today. Today, I, or today I'm riding this mare. I got her from Logan Olson. She's DMO Sand Drifter. And uh, I'm actually going to ride a full brother to her if we end up winning this match. But uh, she's a really cool mare. Eric rode her at the finals a couple times. Really good mare. Awesome. Well, good luck on the rest of them. Thank you. All right, here we go. It is Hagen Peterson right here on the head side. Got him around the horns. Caleb Hendricks. Yeah, he heals this one by two feet. 6'12". Six, 6'12". Twelve. Six, twelve. They come tight fast right here. Caleb gets out, point zero one eight. Not the cleanest head catch, but it's effective. And then Caleb Hendricks comes around right here and heals him on that first hop. Bam, got him. You bet, they're 6'12". All right, Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Now, these guys already like to go fast. So they've got to be a 6'11 right here to put their lead to zero. Cash backs in. We got the nod. Oh, gets out perfectly. Point zero zero eight, and he's got it on him in a hurry. Oh, Sid smoked him down. 570 right here. And they're going to be 2 0 over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Look at this. Cash Duty. Reads that barrier perfectly. And then right here, bam, two swings. He's got him wearing it. And Sid Spore, all he's got to do is heal him, and he does a nice job doing it. They're smooth right here. They got him. They are going to be a 570, and that is going to put them now 2-0 to zero over Hendricks and Peterson. Okay, Cash, you are 2-0 and going into this third round. Does that change things in your game plan or not? No, I'm just trying to hit the start and just take a good throw and make sure we catch the cow. So far, it's been working. Talk to us about your partner, Sid, a little bit. Oh, he's done a great job for me all year so far this year. We just started roping about October, November, and it's been great so far. Okay, awesome. Well, good luck in the rest of the matches. Round number three for Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott, Wyatt Bray, and Josh Patton. So Jackson and Nikki, two to nothing right now over White and Josh. There were 629 in round one and 929 in round two. Round three, we're gonna see if they can continue with what they've started. Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott. Trying to move on into another best of seven. Versus the winner of Cash Duty, Sid Spore, and Hagen Peterson, Caleb Hendricks. We'll see what happens there. Jackson Tucker with a nod. .056 off the barrier. Golly, trouble here on the head side. Not going to work. All right, so he gets out of the barrier just right, and as he delivers his loop right there, it comes right around, and it ropes that right horn one more time, and so when it all comes tight, it pops off. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton in a knockdown situation. So, they've started a little bit slow. They're down two to zero. Wyatt gets out on this steer right here and heads him. And now, here comes JP on the backside, heals him down, smooth run, 867. 867 is gonna make it two to one, going into round number four. You can see Wyatt Bray just a little bit off the barrier, and he whips to this steer right here. Picks up his rope, got him right around the horns. Yes, he does. And then Josh Patton makes a great heel shot right here as he comes tight on this one in a hurry, eight and 67. Cash Duty and Sid Spore now to rope. Now they're two to nothing over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Cash Duty on the last round, round two, there were 570 with an outstanding run. Duty right here again, 131 off the barrier, puts it out there and does not get it around the horns right there. A split of the horns is going to take them to an O time. 
as we'll look at this loop right here, Cash Duty gets out, and uh, this steer is certainly not out of his wheelhouse, but he just doesn't come across the horns, and it splits them right there, and it's going to be a no time. So Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks have an opportunity right here to get back in the ball game in a heavy way. Gentlemen, you got to knock the steer down to do it, though. All right, Hagen gets out, .017, right there, crispy around the horns. And now Caleb Hendricks on the backside with a fast heel shot, 753. And that is going to put them now at 2-1 to one, with the advantage going to Cash Duty and Sid's 4. But they're still back in the ball game. All right, you can see right there, Hagen gets him caught. But then watch this Caleb Hendricks right there. I mean, bam, he's got him all day. Round number four, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys are down by one. It's two to one. Going into round four. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with win of round one and two. Point zero two two on the get out here. And look at this. <laughs> hey, 576. Nice job. 576. You can see right here as he gets out perfectly on the barrier, comes around big loop, catches the horns, and then JP comes in and squares up, and he puts a lot of rope down there. Get him caught. 5 and 76. So they are looking for another win, but Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott looking to go ahead and get in there, put them back against the ropes. These guys got to be a 575 or better. 575 or better. Jackson Tucker gets out. Uh-oh, it's not going to fit here, and it's going to be a no time. And so, after four rounds, it's two to two. Two up. Jackson Tucker got out great, and as he stood up to rope this steer, he splits the horns, and it does not fit. It's going to be a no time right there. And so... It's tied up, two to two. <laughs> Round four for Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. These guys won round three. So it's two to one. Cash duty and sits four to the favor right now. The fourth round, uh-oh, we broke the barrier. Caleb Hendricks heals him down fast, clean. They got the barrier, though. They're going to be 14 and 88. So Caleb has been reading, or Hagen has been reading that barrier perfectly. He does not on this one. Gets out, gets him roped around the horns. Caleb comes around and heals him in a hurry, and they come tight. But the 488 goes to 14 and 88. So cash duty and sits four. Opportunity lies with you guys. It's two to one, going into round four. Cash with a great, safe start. Comes out, rolls to him, got him. Got him caught around the horns, and Sid comes in and got a leg, and they're going to be plus five. Oh, oh, they are 14.06, 14.06, and that's enough to give them that win. So it is three to one going into round number five. All right, so you look right there. Cash took him down the arena. Sid puts his rope down there, but doesn't get in front of the feet. And he just got that one hind leg, but it was good enough. Good enough. Round number five, the undercard four-team match, Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott on a competition between White Bray and Josh Patton. It's all tied up after four. It's two to two. Two to two. All right, Jackson Tucker 
and Nikki won rounds one and two. They came back round three and four with trouble. Jackson Tucker right here. Nikki North got. Jackson with an odd. Here they go. Clean start, point 105 off the barrier. Nicky comes in and he's got one hind leg. They're going to be 1245. 1245. All right, so Jackson pulls right there, gets out, 105 off the barrier. Gets steer roped around the horns. Nicky comes in on the back side. And as he puts his rope down there, it just high on the outside. He catches the inside leg. Plus five, 1245. Wyatt Bray. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton right here. Wyatt got him around the horns. JP to the backside. Yes, sir. How about 778? 778. And so after round number five, it's two to three. With White Bray and Josh Patton in there going to round six. Cash Duty and Sid Spore have Caleb Hendricks and Hagen Peterson against the ropes. Round number five, we'll watch Cash Duty and Sid Spore rope first. That's when they rope their best. Here we go. Cash Duty out, point one three nine. Steer runs. Cash, trouble. Rares up, gives it to him, does not fit. It is going to be a no time. No time. And let's look and see what went wrong right here. Cash pulls a little bit, and then that steer beats him over to the right there. All right, here comes Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Now, these guys... Three to one. So they were in trouble. Now they got a free roll. Get him knocked down. Bring yourselves back. Hagen puts it on the horns. Caleb Hendricks does some healing right here. They're going to be 773. Nice job, gentlemen. 773. They're still down, but they're climbing back out of the hole. Number six, the undercard match right here. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton with an opportunity to put the match to bed right here. They're three to two over Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with wins in the last three go rounds. So if they can keep their streak alive right here, Jackson and Nikki would be in trouble. Wyatt, God broke the barrier, broke the barrier. Point oh four six and got a leg, and so we're going to be twenty and forty eight. 20 and 48. Well, let's see what happened right there. Wyatt pulled, didn't pull enough. Breaks the barrier, ropes the steer. And then Josh Patton comes around. And as he gets this steer kind of squared away, he's just got him roped by the outside leg. And so at 20 and 48. There were 5, 48, 10 at the line, 5 of the field, 20 and 48. So Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott. Uh, with an opportunity to push it into the seventh go round, they got to be faster than 20 and 48. Jackson Tucker gets out on him. He's got him caught now. Nikki Northcott, do your deal. And he does. Smooth run right here with the 737. 737 means that it is tied up going into round number seven for those teams. Jackson Tucker right here, horns are caught. And then watch Nikki Northcott. Comes around and he has so much control over his rope, he gets that steer caught by two feet. It's all over.
Nikki, on the last year, you roped a leg. This one, you come back and you catch two feet, win the match. Now you're going into the seventh round, tied up. What did roping that leg do that you switched to come back and catch two feet on this one? Well, th that one, I, I should have threw faster, but I kind of got out of whack, and I think that's what made me rope a leg. And that one, all I had to do was catch, so I just made sure and do that. Just went and did your job. Do you think that wearing the button to your own shoe helps you catch two feet? <laughs> Probably not, but I just keep it so I don't lose it. It's comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on the next one. Round number six for Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. They are down. It's three to two. Cash duty and sits four. And right here, they are. Smooth run, 654. Nice job for Hagen and Caleb. Hagen gets out on this one really good. 0.081. You can see right here, gets him roped right around the horns. Nice curl. And on the back side, Caleb Hendricks heals him down, comes tight. It's all over in a six and 54. And right here, they are smooth run, 654. So Cash Duty and Sid Spore with a 653 or better can win this best of seven. Cash Duty fires it out there, got the neck. Sid Spohr, oh yeah, oh yeah, smooth run, 569. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. As Cash Duty gets out, he reaches for that steer, got him caught around the neck, and then Sid Spohr comes around as to keep his position, but that steer hops off really nice. He's got him healed right here, and they are 569. So they're going to put it to bed in six rounds. It will be Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott. They're taking it all the way to seven right here. And they're going to rope first. Their fastest time was a 629. The fastest time for White and Josh, 576. It comes down to one steer right here. And look at there, Nikki healed him, got him clean. They're going to be 638. 638. Look at this. Jackson Tucker gets out, 0 0.037. Big steer kind of holds up right there, and Jackson puts it around the horns. Nikki Northcott tries him on in a hurry, and he's got him. Has a little bit of trouble getting that dally and getting it all tied up right there, but he does. And so, it is going to be a 638. All right, here we go. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. Look at this. They come tight in a hurry, 547. And so, they will get the win. It is going to be Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. So White Bray and Josh Patton move on. He's got him around the neck right there. JP heals him right there in a hurry. 547. So White Bray, Josh Patton are going to take on Cash Duty and Sid Spore to find out who's going to be the champions. All right, guys. One thing we've learned about match roping today is don't ever count yourselves out. Talk to us about the mountains and the valleys that you went through in this match today. Well, I made a lot of mistakes. My partner's done a good job all day, but I beat myself three times today, and then the other four I actually did my job. So, Josh, how do you keep the momentum going when things aren't going right? You just got to keep hustling. I mean, when you're kind of behind the eight ball, I mean, there ain't no giving up. You got to keep on. And I mean, our run is pretty good. We catch a lot of steers. We just knew we needed to battle back in there and not miss the barrier. And I probably need to throw a little faster, and here we are. Well, it all worked out, and you battled back. Good job, guys. Thank you. We just watched Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton get a victory over Jackson Tucker and Nicky Northcott. Also, Cash Duty and Sid Spohr took a win over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. And now it's time for them to go head-to-head. -head. In the best of seven, find out who's going to be the champion. 
Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton are going to rope first. Cash Duty and Sid Spore are going to rope second in this best of seven. Find out who's going to get the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. All right. Hang on to your hat, Big Tex. It's going to be good stuff. Here we go. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton going to start it off for us right here in the best of seven. See if they can do it over Cash Duty and Sid Spore. It's going to be good no matter what. Here we go. Wyatt Bray, Josh Pat. Wyatt Bray from right here, Stephenville. Josh Pat hails from Odessa. Now he lives right over there outside of Lubbock, Texas. Look at this. Does some healing now. Smooth here with a 665. JP, nice shot right there. As we'll get a look at this back on the replay. Point oh eight six. Wyatt Bray gets out of the barrier. And this steer kind of takes him down there a little bit. He reaches for him, got him caught around the horns. And then watch Josh Patton right here. This little horse cow's in there, and he puts some rope down there. And I mean, he's got him coming tight. 665. All right. Cash Duty and Sid Spore now. These guys get ready to back in and rock and roll. 664 is their mark. All right. We've got the gunslinger on the head side, Cash Duty. Oh, he gets out .072, and he slings it at him. He's got him. Look at this. Sid Spore heals him 560. Wow. Wow. They are going to get the early lead right here in round number one. As we'll get this look, watch this. Cash Duty. Manny gets out, gets him caught half head. Sid Spore, this guy is a machine now. He rides right to his spot, puts his rope down. He's got him healed by two feet, and it's over. Just like that. Hey, Cash, coming off a win on your last match, this first year that you drew kind of left the shoot with that left horn down. What do you do with that? Did you have to take an extra swing? Um, well, I didn't score very good. When you don't score very good, you just kind of try to throw it over the horns and hope you can get something caught. Sid did a good job healing him. Sid does do a very good job healing. What's your plan on this next year? Um, try to score better and not have to throw so far. <laughs> All right, there you go. Good luck. Thank you. Here's round number two. That's Cash Duty and Sid Spore versus Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. It started off hot, baby. Cash Duty and Sid Spore with a 560 in round one to get that win over Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton, who were a 665. In round two, we're going to see what happens right here. Two of the tallest headers out there coming head to head. Here we go. Cash Duty with a late start, .152, but his head rope makes up the difference. Sid Spore on the backside has been picture perfect, heals him down. Six and 55. Six and 55. It's going to be their time for round number two. All right, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys got to be a 654. So Cash Duty reaches out and heads that sucker. And then Sid Spore, this guy has been point on right there. I mean, spot on. Heals him down. All right, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. Wyatt Bray backs in, get the nod. We're rolling. Look at here, look at here. He's got him caught. Now, Josh Patton, you gotta heal him fast, and he does. It's gonna be smooth, 583, 583. It's just like a game of tennis, back and forth, back and forth. Here we go. Who's gonna be left standing at the last of it? We'll find out. It's split up, one to one, after two. Wyatt Bray does a nice job heading him, and then Josh Patton, he speeds up the game right there and heals him down, 583. Gonna be smooth, 580. 
Here's round number three. It's Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton right here. That's one to one. All right, Wyatt Bray, Josh Patton, Cash Duty, Sid Spore. Here we go, Wyatt Bray, a little bit late, point one five eight. He gets him caught. Josh Patton comes around, heels. It's going to be smooth, 7.03, 7.03. All right. Well, Cash Duty and Sid Spore. So Wyatt Bray was just a little bit late right there. But as he gets his head, root, their head loop out, he comes right around the horns. And then Josh Patton comes around right here and heals this steer. They're going to be a clean run right here. Nice job, man. All right. Cash duty and Sid Spore. Cash right there. Point oh one seven pings the barrier. Got him caught. Sid Spore has trouble getting his dally, but he does in 699. <laughs> Woo! That's just how this match goes. A 699 to a 703, but still Cash Duty and Sid Spore on top. So they are two to one over White and Josh going into round number four. Man, what a match we got going on right here. Just right. Round number four of quite possibly one of the most exciting matches we've seen today. Cash Duty and Sid Spore are going to rope first. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton roping second. It's been a battle back and forth, back and forth. And right here, we're going to see what happens. Cash Duty and Sid Spore get to rope first. All right, gentlemen, we get the nod. They're rolling. Cash Duty gets out. Fires it at him, doesn't fit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not what we wanted to see right there for Cash Duty. And as you get this right here, he lobs it out there. It goes around the right horn, but does not come across the horns. In fact, it doesn't even split the horns. It kind of went by, and it's going to be no time. All right, it's going to be Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. This team right here, a catch situation. Knock him down, boys. Knock him down. Little old steer comes out, kind of veers to the left, and Josh comes in, heals him right here on the back side. They are smooth, but a barrier. They're going to be 18 and 33, but that's all right, gentlemen. You guys are going to get it, and it's two to two. Two to two after four. You can see this little steer kind of veers to the left. White gets way up over him, gets him caught kind of deep around the eyes, and Josh comes in, steer's hopping off nice, times him up. Sees the fence coming and says, I better release it and catch him, and he does. And so it's tied up at two to two right here. Here comes White Bray and Josh Patton, round number five. White with his part, JP to the backside. They're going to heal him right here with a smooth run of 642. 642 right here. It's tied right here, two to two. White Bray gets out, .072, gets it on the horns, and Josh Patton, look at this guy right here, sets him up, heals him down. Just right, man, 642. Cash duty and Sid's four, 641 or better. It's tied up, two to two. All right, guys, let's see what you bring to the table. Duty out, broke the barrier. Broke the barrier. Oh, no, Sid's four heals him. They're smooth. 499, but a barrier. They're going to be 14 and 99. Oh, no, no, no. So, White Bray and Josh Patton, three to two. Cash gets it on this steer nicely. Again, Sid's four has been just dialed in all day. Heals this one right here, 499, but the barrier 14 and 99. So going into round six, Wyatt and Josh have the advantage. Three to two going into round six. Round number six, Cash Duty and Sid Spore to kick it off. 
It's three to two with Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton in the lead. Now, if Wyatt and Josh win this one, the match is over. Cash Duty and Sid Spore looking to stand completely in their way. They want to take it to round seven. All right, Cash Duty out, .043, got him caught. Sid Spore comes around, heals that dude in a hurry, smooth, 535. 535. So they have certainly set themselves up. Cash Duty reaches out there. He's got it right around the horns. Sid Spore says, look at this. I see him. I got him. In two feet, it's all over. 535. Cash Duty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smooth runner. 569. Wyatt Ray, Josh Patton. 534 or better to get the round win and the win of the match. It all hinges on this one. Let's see what happens. 534 or better. Late of the line. Point two one five. Fires it out there. Doesn't fit. No time. And it does go into a 3-3 three, three split here. Going into round seven, it comes down to a one-header. Who's going to be the champion? And it looks like in that last go-round, with Cash Duty and Sid Spore turning in a time of 5.35, they'll rope second. So that means Wyatt, Bray, and Josh Patton will rope first in round number seven. It is the final round. Who's going to be the champion? Wyatt, Bray, and Josh Patton or Cash Duty and Sid Spore? So Wyatt and Josh are going to rope first. Wyatt out. Oh, caught him. Backside, they healed him, but I see some bad news. Figure eights the nose right there. Wyatt Bray, ouch. We'll get another look at this. He gets out perfectly, .061. Puts that rope out there, and it just comes around, and it was just like instantly figure eighted around the nose. Josh Patton puts a loop down there, misses a slack, goes straight to the horn, and... Uh, it's not going to work for them. No time. All right. Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Gentlemen, for the win, all you got to do is catch him. All you got to do is catch him. They put it on the horns. Now to the backside. Oh! Oh! Who'd have thunk it? It'll push us into a round eight. And the door opens. And the door opens. As we go into the round eight. Cash Duty ran right to him. Sid Spore, who's been picture perfect, has trouble right there and sets it beside him. So in round eight, Cash Duty and Sid Spore will rope first. White Bray and Josh Patton will rope second. All right, here is... Cash Duty and Sid Spore, and they have trouble right here. They forced it into a round eight to see what happens, and Cash Duty gets out perfectly. That steer is right there waiting on him, and he missed him. So the door is open for White Bray and Josh Patton. White Bray and Josh Patton have got to just catch the steer. Catch him. They break the barrier. That's okay. They got it around the horns. Now JP heals him up. Yes, he does. Smooth here, but an 18-10. And the win right here is going to go to Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton as they will take the top honors. You can see Wyatt just comes with that steer, gets out, gets him roped right here, clean around the horns. And then Josh Patton takes just a bit of extra time to set this one up, times him up, gets him healed right here by two feet, and it's over like that. So White Bray and Josh Patton are going to win the undercard match right here. They're going to be the champions over Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Okay, Wyatt and Josh, what a day we've had. What a day. Been a long one. It has been a long day. Talk us through this last match. Man, you know, it's just up and down. It's a drawing contest. I mean, we made a few mistakes. Uh, 
stayed momentum all day. Wyatt done a good job. Uh, we try not to mess up very often, and when they messed up, we knew we just got to go catch him. We went into an extra round. How did you get your composure back for that? Well, all we had to do was catch in the last round, so it was sure nice that they <laughs> let us have that opportunity. But uh, it was a tough match, back and forth all day long. Uh, Sid and Cash did a great job all day. It was whoever went second seemed to take the lead every time, so it was a really good match. And that was an advantage you had going into that extra round was you got to be second. Did that change your game plan at all? Uh, yes. Whenever I got to see how that they did, it just uh, made it made job easy. So all I had to do was run up there and do my job. It's not very often you can break a barrier and win a open. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, guys. All right, Cody Snow, it's the Monday night match. You've got Junior D's and you're matching Shea Carroll and Douglas Rich. With two headers on the team, what's your game plan for today? Uh, we're just going to try to win every match. I mean, the best we can. That's perfect. So how do you prepare coming into a setup like this where you switch every two? Um, I don't know. It's good. It's just where you can kind of – Junior and I rope a lot together, so we're just going to try to whatever – they, whatever run they make, we're going to try to beat them. <laughs> Have you been working on your healing? I healed yesterday. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's perfect. All right, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> All right, it's Monday night match. How you feel? I'm very excited. It's uh, my first switch end match, so looking forward to getting rolling here. And the switch end match of a team of healers. How's that going to go? Uh, yeah, I, I haven't looked at the roster for the day, but I would say we're the only true all-healer matchup. And uh, so scoring's probably not in our favor. Um, the good news about Worley, I know he's got a lot of range, and uh, I told him to bring his binoculars today, say he's going to need them. So I'm just hoping I can get around there and heal him for him. I mean, just nod and pull, right? That's it. Yeah, it's all feel. Uh, I'm just hoping I can do my best to stay behind the barrier and turn him the steer because I know if I do that, he's going to catch. So the, least, the last thing I'm worried about is my partner. That's perfect. So as a healer, what are you going to choose to head with today? You know, it's power line, rain or shine for me either end. So I got, uh, I got three softs broke in. I feel pretty good about it. I've been coming over here on Wednesday nights at the slides heading a little bit. Uh, I got a feel for a little bit of what's going on over here, but I brought a different horse today. So we'll see how it goes. All right. That's awesome. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Junior D's, you are on the team of headers. What's your game plan for healing today? Oh, uh, just try to doctor him, I guess. Get to the inside and heal the feet. Just like the Brandon pin. Oh, yep. No, that's my, that's my uh, approach for today. So you have one of the fastest head horses I have ever seen. Are you riding him today, or what'd you pick? No, I'm not riding him. I'm riding too short. Um, I got him from the Ashfords. Um, he's a traffic guy. He's pretty cool. Um, and then I'm going to heal on a little horse that I've had for two years. I call him Alvin. It's going to be pretty interesting. So what's your game plan for a switch ender like this where you switch after two? I'm just going to be aggressive on every steer, head and healing, just rope, and then, uh, you know, see what happens played off by year. You just never know what to kind of expect because, you know, you might have to be nine or you might have to be three. You might have to be 12. So just I'm just going to rope every steer for, for the steer and just kind of see what happens. So I see you brought your rope. What heel rope did you pick today? Well, my partner decided to forget my our heel rope, so I got to – our heel rope? I got a hard medium uh, 
rope. It's way too big, but this is what I'm using for the day. All right. Hope you've been hitting the gym. I haven't. <laughs> All right. Good luck today. Thanks. Brock Hansen, do you identify as a header or a healer today? I, I mean, I don't really have a have an answer for that. I'm just just happy to be here. All right, awesome. And who are you roping with today? Eric Rogers. Eric Rogers. Eric Rogers with the floater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we kind of talked about that already, and, and it's not not today. The floater's not going to be here today. It's. We're going to see some aggression I'm from Eric Rogers on the heel side. Yeah, I figure he's fresh off the timed event practice, and he's he's going to be pretty sharp in the healing. That's awesome. What are you riding today? Uh, I'm riding a gray horse I just bought a couple weeks ago to head on, and then I borrowed one from the Johnsons, uh, just a good, solid veteran heel horse. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. Well, good evening and welcome to the Monday Night Match. It's a cool main event, and today it is going to be a best of seven.